Hello, in this session we will talk about business intelligence component extract, transform and load also known as ETL. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. In the previous video we have discussed based on the company's culture either they are going to go for best of the breed solution in terms of applications, database and business intelligence software or a company is going to go for an integrated solution where they are going to purchase all these components from the same vendor. Components in terms of applications database and BI software. Now if you go a little deeper into the business intelligence software you will realize that rarely a business intelligence software is just one piece of component. It contains multiple components within it so it's a suite of components usually and typically in a business intelligence software you will find components for ETL querying and reporting, analysis, visual data discovery and predictive analytics. Now in this session we will talk about ETL, what ETL is and why it is used. To start with ETL stands for extract, transform and load. So in a company there would be multiple applications running and behind the applications there would be databases. Application may include ERP system, enterprise resource planning software systems for example which is end-to-end -end solution for managing the information or there could be other peripheral systems running as well. All these applications are used by the end users and the databases behind these applications are tuned for fast capturing of data. So they are called OLTP systems, online transaction processing systems. However, periodically data has to be copied over from all these systems into a central repository which is known as online application processing system or data warehouses. So these data warehouses would be used by the management to perform queries, reporting, trend analysis and all those research kind of work and these OLTP systems would be used by end users to perform operational tasks. If we do the queries directly on OLTP systems we are creating a risk of damaging the capturing of transactions because the system wouldn't be able to handle too much of a load. So we create a separate system for querying purposes and also it serves as a consolidation point because data is scattered in the company and in different databases it's all consolidated and brought into these warehouses. So when I use the term copying, it's not simply copying as such that you copy the data from different sources. Sources might include non-OLTP systems like flat files or Excel sheets etc. Data has to be extracted first and then it might have to be transformed and finally it is loaded. You can consider the transform step as a cleaning step. For example, an abbreviation for let's say Ontario could be ON at certain places in the database and yet in another source, maybe the files, they are keeping ONT as an abbreviation. So before you copy the data over, you might want to bring everything into a consistent format. So you don't want to bring apples and oranges, you want to just copy all the apples over. So that's one example. Second, in OLTP systems, very detailed level data is captured while in warehouses you might not be interested in all the details. For example, you are not really interested in that Hassan who lives in Toronto purchased a tennis racket on February the 2nd. You are more interested in how many mail purchased maybe uh, sporting goods in February from this city. So you are not interested in particular person in warehouses, you are more interested in categories. So the transformation step may also include aggregations. So it is a subject on its own, the ETL process. Here I am simply introducing the concept and also the fact that ETL tool is usually a part of a sophisticated business intelligence software. Now keep the big picture in mind, although ETL tool is a part of business intelligence software, but the querying and reporting component of business intelligence would work against 
OLTP systems as well as OLAP systems. It depends on the requirement. So if we are only going against the transaction processing database using the business intelligence reporting tool, then we might not be even using ETL tool because we might not be having our warehouse. So just keep that in mind that ETL tool will only be used if you have a data warehouse. Keep in mind, although ETL tool is a part of so a sophisticated business intelligence software, which is a suite of components, but it is not uncommon that an ETL tool is used from a different vendor, ETL only vendors like Informatica, and the main querying and reporting and other components are used from a different vendor, like business objects from SAP. So how would a company decide which business intelligence software to buy and whether to use ETL tool from a third party or not? The business intelligence software is usually a choice of business users. These are the power users who are making decisions in terms of the direction in which the company is heading. So usually business has the ownership on the business intelligence software, just like how they own the functional side of the applications. However, anything to do with the programming and the technical side of the world falls into the area of IT department and ETL involves programming and architects are in the picture as well so usually which ETL tool to use is a decision that is made by IT definitely there is an advantage in using the ETL tool from the same vendor from which you purchase the rest of the business intelligence components so in other words, if you use integrated ETL tool, you are getting better results. Why? So the benefit will go to both business users as well as to the programmers. If an integrated ETL tool is used, then useful information is displayed to the users when they use front-end tools like querying and reporting, analysis and so on. Useful information in terms of where the data is coming from, what is the actual source of the data, which OLTP system the data is coming from and how it was transformed along the way and so on. And also programmers will get an, an advantage whenever they try to change something at the back end like the source of the information source could be in an OLTP system certain table and certain column whenever they try to make a change they will be displayed how the end users will be impacted. A slight change in the mapping at the back end would impact the business users and they could see the impact right away. So these are certain benefits that are definitely there if you use an integrated tool. In terms of ETL, these are the major players. SAP has a data integrator component which is part of their main business intelligence suite called business object and Oracle data integrator component is part of their business intelligence suite and Microsoft has Microsoft integration services and Informatica is the ETL only player in the market.